This course is designed to introduce you to or reinforce your knowledge of issues related to health that consider behavioral, psychological, and structural factors in population health beyond the healthcare system. By the end of this course, you will be able to discuss factors that contribute to health inequities in this society and suggest innovative ways to reduce disparities in health with the focus on achieving equity. By the end of this session, you will be able to distinguish definitions of health disparities and health equity, determine factors that contribute to health inequalities, discuss the historical context for understanding health inequities, and recognize levels of influence that can affect health. To begin, let's consider current definitions of health. When we think about health, we must consider definitions that include not only physical health, but the role of psychological and social factors as well, and how we function and our overall well-being. This approach addresses the evolving definition of health from the World Health Organization that allows us to expand our thinking to include not just the absence of illness and physical health, but also good nutrition, muscular strength, and adequate sleep. Mental health issues such as coping with stress, being flexible, finding balance, and the ability to enjoy life are also included in a definition of good health. The idea of finding meaning and purpose in life and the integration of mind, body, and soul consistently contribute to health and well-being in ways we can effectively document. However, there are a number of factors we must understand to determine who will be healthy and who will not based on influences beyond individual behavior and the healthcare system. If we consider the top 10 leading causes of death in the United States listed in figure one, we see that heart disease and cancer account for the majority of deaths. Subgroup analysis by race and gender show similar findings. I'm sure there are no surprises for you here. However, if we consider factors that determine health outcomes in figure two, we see that lifestyle is the greatest explanatory category. That is, what we do account for 50% of our health status. Where we live from an environmental perspective matters as well as biology to account for an additional 40%. That leaves only 10% for health care. So why do we focus so much attention on the healthcare system to explain health when so many other factors are important? In this course, we're going to examine alternative explanation for disparities observed in health outcomes across different populations based on structural and other factors. It will be our job to interrogate explanations offered in readings reflecting behavioral, psychological, and structural factors that contribute to inequalities in health. Over the next few weeks, you will view course videos, read assigned articles, take weekly assessments, and engage in class exercises designed to further your understanding of inequalities in health in today's society. So, let's get started.